thanks to our friends at Nidakar, meet Igor's supercar-inspired Mustang with Bite, a 65 fastback named Venom. It wasn't really my first choice, to be perfectly honest. Um, I've always wanted a 60 to 62 Corvette, and I've had one you know, on my wall since I was about 15 years old. Uh, so it's just a case of circumstance that uh, a Mustang happened to turn up. And really, it's going back to my childhood when I was about eight or nine years old. I had a neighbor that I thought was really cool because he had a big Yank Tank American car. Some guys have boats, some guys have cars, I suppose. Uh, it's just a passion, like um, I know a lot of women that like shoes. Um, so <laughs> it's just one of those things, I happen to like cars. That love of the motor vehicle has long played a lead role in Igor's life, even at one point owning his own toy shop, Hollywood Cars, an Auckland business specialising in vehicles out of the ordinary. So when Igor decided he needed a classic in his life, an innocent-looking 65 Mustang would enter the frame, albeit its appeal not for the reason you might expect. Price to start with, um, yeah, I thought, oh, wow, what a bargain, better go and buy that. And so, so I did. And uh, unfortunately, when I started taking it apart, it was uh, one of those ones that was covered in rust. And so uh, the project that was meant to just be a little bit of a do-up uh, ended up completely stripping the car. I didn't want just a bog job. Unfortunately, the first guys that took it on did actually bog it, and uh, so we had to start all over again. Uh, once again, stripped it again and took all the bog out and uh, replaced the rust that was still there. Enter Matamata Panelworks, a business world-renowned for handcrafting elite-level cars. They're no one-trick pony, but much of their success can be attributed to their obsessive and all-steel approach to Ford's Mustang. Malcolm and his team would then make the perfect match for the standard of work Igor was looking to achieve, but neither party were in any doubt. That level of finish takes time and money. You probably have to have more dollars and cents, actually, um, <laughs> if you're going to start a project like that. So, uh, yeah, it was just, just happened to, to be at the stage of my life where, where I could afford to do so. And once you start, really, you can't finish. Uh, I'm a bit of a perfectionist, so, you know, I wanted the best, so I went to see the best. Although to begin with, Igor wasn't looking for a turnkey car. I saw a bumper that they did on another 65 Mustang, and I rang uh, Malcolm up and said, hey, I like the look of that bumper, you know, can I, can I have that bumper? And uh, it was like, no, you can't, but you can have one similar, because we don't do the same design for every car that we do. All sounded nice, so once I've done the bumper, it's like, oh, well, maybe let's do the rear bumper as well. And from the rear bumper, you start doing the sides. Um, you know, the guards over here, they're, they're all hand fabricated. You know, it's tap, tap, tap. To get professionals like that working on your car, it costs a dollar, but you know, the end product is what you see. Wheels were in motion, and the challenge was set. Igor wouldn't settle for the second best car Matamata Panelworks had built. This one had to raise the bar. Taking inspiration from the Ferrari F430 in Igor's garage, the Detroit Pony Car would imitate the Italian's aerodynamic vents on its flanks, while the lines of that custom front bumper flow onto the integrated side skirts and rear bumper. The 19 by 9 and 19 by 12 inch wheels dictated the overall width of the flared guards. Everything, and we mean everything, has been handcrafted for this one-off vehicle. And there's no fiberglass here. Matamata Panelworks' currency of choice is steel. Of course, with Igor having spent plenty of his time behind the wheels of supercars, a 1965 driving experience was never going to cut it. 427 cubes of Roush's finest was numbers matched to the body, topped with a stack-injected EFI and backed by a Tremec TKO 605 speed, the package is good for a very drivable 560 horses. And yes, as good as Venom looks under the bright lights of a show hall, like its award-winning unveil at the Teng Tools Grand National Rod and Custom Show, this is a car built to drive, with most of the good bits of the RRS catalogue thrown at it, including their Phase 6 front suspension, coilovers, GT rack and pinion steering, three-link rear end and braking package. But for a vehicle with so little factory Ford left in it, it was important that this hugely modified Mustang was still recognisable as just that, a Mustang. I wanted people to still look at the car and think, oh, that's an old Mustang. And I wanted it to sound like an old Mustang as well. So when you wind down the window and you put your arm out the window, you know, and people hear that V8 roaring past, they know, oh, that's, that's an old muscle car. And that's, that's what I wanted. 
It might have begun in unfortunate circumstances, the purchase of a rusty 65 Mustang that would inadvertently kick off a six-year build of one of New Zealand's most elite custom cars. But the result is a vehicle that achieves everything Igor and the Matter Matter Panelworks team set out to do. And chances are, it might not be the last time this owner-builder combo have a good look at where the bar sits and think they might just raise it another notch or two. Oh, it's kind of a weird feeling, actually. You want it to keep going in a way. You want it to stop because it takes so long, but then once you have finished, it's like, oh, what do I do now? You know, the artist in me um, had that project going on for five or six years, and I was able to, you know, paint my picture, per se. And uh, now that it's finished, it's like, oh, what do I do now? I haven't got specifically a goal in mind, but I'm sure it won't be my last. I want to thank uh, my girlfriend Emily for putting up with me uh, all the times I was away uh, down there checking on the car. And uh, to, my, to my three children, I'm still around for a while yet, so get, get your eyes off it.